Hey everyone, Dave from Polypad here, and I am so excited to share with you our January 2023 Polypad updates. We have added the ability to group tiles, to tabulate sums of dice rolled, and have negative number line jumps. Those are some of the three most commonly requested features on Polypad. Let me show you how they work. I'm gonna add a square to the canvas. Oh, I added two, I just want one. I'll put a triangle on top and then put a triangle at the bottom. Select all of these with a click and drag and a new button in the action bar is group. So when I click this, I now have a group of tiles that I can move around the canvas. I can rotate the group as I like and any changes that I make, including the color, apply to the whole group. And that works for any of the tiles on Polypad. So even if I have a hexagon and I wanna label that hexagon, I'll change the color to white and type hexagon. Now I can put the text box where I like in the middle, select both of them, click group in the action bar, and then as I move that around, the text box moves with it. Lovely. If I want to make any changes to the text, I can ungroup it. I'll double click on the text box. Maybe I'm really excited that it's a hexagon, so I can center it and then uh, group it back together. There we go. Now that we have the ability to group tiles, we are able to add so many new features with group tiles. And we've started with our probability tools. So let me show you this in action with some of our dice. You may know that if I have a number of die on the canvas, let me just put four and zoom out a little bit here. I can roll all the dice at once. I'll click roll and then I can click tabulate and I get this nice table of the numbers that I've rolled. I'm gonna pin the action bar, clicked on the table, go to the three dots, change the aggregation mode to cumulative so I get a running tally of the numbers that I've rolled. And you can see as I do this, the numbers in the table change. If I want to, I can attach a chart to this. It ends up over here. Let me put the chart up back under the die. And now when I roll the die, both the chart and the table update as well. Not surprisingly, a lot of our users have asked, can you do that with two dice and tabulate and graph the sum? And I am so excited to say that now we can because we can group two dice together. So there are two dice. I'm gonna do a click and drag to select both of them. Let me put the action bar underneath the dice. I'm gonna click group. And now I have this group of two dice. I'm gonna make a bunch of copies of this. Maybe I'll do 10 of them. So there's five. And then I can take all of these and copy it. So there are 10 pairs of dice. Of dice. I'm gonna randomize them and click tabulate. And now you can see I get this table with values of two through 12. And when I, oh, first I'm gonna pin the action bar, change the aggregation method to cumulative. So I get a running tally of them. And now when I roll all of these, those numbers change as well. How awesome. And of course I can attach a chart to that just like I did before. So I'll zoom out a little bit so we can see all of this in action. Here we are, here are our dice, our pairs, and the table, and the chart. And as I continue to roll, the chart and table update automatically. So all sorts of great simulations and data collection activities that you can do there as well. Of course, it works with, um, with a group of three as well. So if I put three here and, uh, and group those, I'll group them together, and then I can randomize and tabulate. I'm gonna get a really big table when I tabulate all the way from three to 18, because those are all the possible ways to get a sum of three die. It works with coins too, which is really wonderful. So let me do groups of three here. Uh, and so I will group these together and then copy the group. Maybe I'll just do five now to show you the example. I'm going to randomize all the coins. I'm going to flip them all and make a table. You can see I get all the options of 
of flipping the three coins in a nice uh, in an organized way in the table. I'll make a bar chart out of this and just drag it onto the bottom here. And now I'll change the aggregation method to cumulative one more time and randomize all these coins. And as I do this, the numbers in the chart and the table update as well. So all sorts of wonderful things to explore with the ability to group some of our coins and dice. So that is grouping tiles. The final thing to share in our January update is our negative number line jump. Um, a lot of our, our teacher users have been asking for this and we're really excited to add it here. So we have this um, uh, a jump that is in the positive direction and I can click and drag this black handle to change the size of the jump. We have um, a tool here that is multiple jumps. So here um, with this first one on the right, I'm changing the number of jumps. And here's the second one that's changing the size of the jump. So we've added in the action bar, I'm gonna unpin the action bar, this ability to flip. When I flip the number line jump, you can see it goes in the negative direction and changes color. I can do that with these as well. Or of course, I could just start with a negative flip that you can see in the sidebar. So if I grab this number line and copy it, I can put a negative jump on, on the number line and change that as much as I like. Of course, as you may know, you can change all of, all of the settings on the number line. So I could start at negative 10 and go up by 20 and so on. So all sorts of great updates for January 2023, our number line jumps, the ability to group tiles. Uh, we're really excited to see how folks are going to use these new features. So please share in the comments, share on social media. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay informed about the latest updates. We have a lot more exciting things planned to add to Polypad in 2023. So be sure to subscribe, follow us across our social media channels, and check out the other videos in the What's New series. We added a lot towards the end of the year in 2022. We started a new um, playlist called Polypad Pointers. So all sorts of great ideas in that playlist. Go check them out. Thanks for watching.